Hello and welcome to my install video for Liquid Smooth. This is the Liquid Smooth ROM that you'll find on XDA developers in the AT&T uh, development section, <clears throat> the LG G2D800. We're going to scroll through here and you'll see some of the features of this, uh, things that you'd be interested in. Slim's DPI, so you can change your DPI without having to use a separate app. You have some animation controls, you have the blacked out settings, you have active display, Slim's quick settings, RAM bar, uh, theme engine support, privacy guard, built in super user, so you don't need a flash super user when you get done. Uh, wi Fi tethering has been hacked, uh, cell broadcasts, configurable power menu, configurable nav bar, Slim's recents, we'll talk about that in the review video, uh, gamma configuration support. Custom, custom animation control, list view, lock screen notifications, and then there is more. So we are going to be downloading the 317 build. If you scroll down, again, the link for this is going to be in the description below. We're going to scroll down here and you're going to see this might confuse you a little bit. It says ROM with Dr. 87's kernel, and then it says ROM with the furnace kernel. Now, I'm going to download Dr. 87's kernel, and then you got your bank gaps here, minimal and standard, that they are supporting. However, as usual, I'm going to use PA gaps. You can use whichever ones you want. Uh, scroll down here. Again, I'll leave this link down here as well in the description below. And I use the mini modular package. Okay? <clears throat> so you're going to click those, you're going to download those. And once you have them copied over to your phone, we will do the next step. Now, we're going to go ahead and assume that you're one, you've already rooted, and two, that you uh, have a custom recovery. One more prerequisite is if you are using a stock LG G2 uh, KitKat ROM that has recovery in it, then you have a hacked KitKat baseband that allows that ROM to work. If you do not flash the Jelly Bean baseband, which I will also link. Alright, so you have copied the files over to your uh, SD card, your storage, and you have booted into your recovery. Note I am using Phil's Touch 6 uh, because that's what I was using uh, when I was testing out uh, Cloudy Pro 2, and what I'm going to do is try this out for a little while this recovery up since I already have uh, a few backups already with this particular recovery. So I'm going to test it out. Uh, usually I use twerp but uh, yeah, I'm going to try it out. Experiment. Anyways, make sure you do a backup first. I already have. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to wipe data factory reset. Clean to install a new ROM. Yes, I'm going to install a new ROM. And away we go. This is a pretty quick process. All right, we go back, we go back. We're going to install a zip. We're going to choose a zip from SD card. In my case, it's in downloads. LSKK version 3.0, 2014, 03-18 for the D800. Select it, install it. Note, I'm going to pilot this ROM probably through Wednesday before I do my next review. <clears throat> Give me some good time with it. Press the key to continue. Choose it from SD card, downloads, and then your gaps, which uh, for me the mini modular was 2014-0321A signed. Enter. shouldn't take very long and there we go okay we're gonna hit enter all right and then we are going to reboot all right so we're gonna reboot
nice full screen boot animation there. Okay, and I did restore from a backup, so you're not, it's not going to look like this. <clears throat> settings. We're going to go through here, settings, interface. You got app bar settings. Come from this side, you got clock widget settings. Power menu. Okay. Progress bar. Recents RAM. Default app picker. Gesture anywhere. Custom LCD density mindset 380. Uh, enable slim recents, uh, which this is slim's recents, so it's kind of this card style thing here. Or I'm sorry, that's the there you go. And if you do it the other way, get out. Then your recents is like this. Okay. Matter of preference, I'll test both. Lock screen, interface, custom wallpapers, eight sliders, slider targets, shortcuts, slider torch, notifications. There you go, you can see pocket mode always on, show notification, hide low priority, because I do use the notifications on the lock screen. Style, see through, okay, so we got some things there. Widgets, battery on the ring, battery status, lock before unlock, menu unlock, quick unlock, navigation. You got the, uh, I disabled the navigation bar, but you could adjust the height. I disabled it so I can use Pi. Okay. Performance. All right, I'll play with that. Usually I use Trickster, but we'll play with that. Okay. So you can kind of see what you got here. Status bar. Status bar color. Oh, I got a close there. Okay, so we got status bar, we got status bar color, battery icon style, okay, uh, clock and date, double tap to sleep, status bar, so that's going to be located there. Show network speeds, notification counts, signal displays. Scrolling through here, you got active display settings here, notification drawer, uh, let's see, high notification labels, contextuals, custom carrier labels, styles, customize. Uh, style, tiles, layouts, quick ribbon, flip tiles, quick collapse, quick pull down, smart pull down, enable notification reminder, flip interval notification. Okay, so those are your settings there. Pi controls, standard Pi controls there. You can see it works. Uh, wake lock blocker, okay. Uh, total blackout, I'm trying that out. As you can see here, uh, other than that, you got advanced options down here at the bottom. Super user, media scanner behavior on boot. And just to show you what we're running here, liquid smooth. There is Dr. 87's kernel. This is the February 16th build, and so this isn't exactly a new kernel one that they're using here. And we will experiment with kernels as always. Liquid smooth, there it is. 318-2014. So that's liquid smooth. You'll have a review video hopefully Wednesday, Thursday at the latest.